Okay, we have tangent, we have an inverse cosine on the inside this time. Uh, so, what we need to do again is set this up first. Theta is on the inside. Theta would equal your inverse, theta 3 fourths. And then, what we need to do is we want to apply cosine to both sides, and we get cosine theta is equal to negative 3 fourths. So again, you're applying cosine on both sides. Cosine of inverse cosine cancels, and that's why you end up with just the number on the end there. This right here is a way that you can draw a triangle because we're going to use a, the trig definition to set it up, which would be adjacent over a hypotenuse. We need to look at this to tell which quadrant we're able to draw the triangle in. Now, inverse cosine is what we originally had. That says that you're only allowed to draw that in quadrant number one or quadrant number two. Okay, so because of that, I have a choice of which one to use. Now if I do all students take calculus, all means everything's positive here, and then take tangents positive, everything else is going to be negative. That's, this is the quadrant I want to use. I want to find out of quadrant number one and two, the only one where cosine could be negative is going to be in the second quadrant. So I'm going to draw that triangle right here. So I get, I have negative three-fourths, okay, so that's adjacent over hypotenuse. This side is the one that has to have a negative because this is talking about negative x values. Hypotenuse is always positive regardless of what quadrant that you're in. So we know we have that. Now be careful, this is not going to be this 3, 4, 5 triangle because the 5 would have to be in the hypotenuse position there. So it won't be 3, 4, 5. We have to do this one again by Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I have negative 3. I have b squared is unknown. The c that's the side opposite the right angle here, and that's going to be 4, so I put that in there for C. I get 9 plus B squared equals 16, B squared equals 7. And so if I take the square root of both sides, I get plus or minus root 7. And so I have a choice to make it positive or negative because I have it, the, this, y, this y right here is above the x-axis. That means that that would have to be a positive, so I'm going to get positive square root of 7. The triangle is now complete. I'm ready to get my answer based on this. So right here, I want to look at, on the outside is a tangent. The one on the outside tells me the answer I'm going to grab from the triangle itself. So from tangent, tangent is opposite. The angle itself would be measured here from the x-axis. Opposite would be square root of 7. The adjacent is going to be negative 3. So my answer is going to be this. It's going to be negative square root of 7 over 3.